Okay, big news here, folks. I actually just got myself a brand new Nintendo Switch. Ordered it uh, online. Here's my original one. This is the one that broke. Doesn't power on no matter what I do. It's broken. I need to send this into Nintendo to have it fixed. Um, some people in my chat told me on Twitch uh, that they have the same that they had the same problem, that theirs died. They sent it into Nintendo. Apparently they had good experiences. Nintendo would send them back another Switch without any problems, so hopefully I can do the same thing. Uh, I'm a little worried about, I heard that like your information, or your Nintendo account is bound to your Switch. So uh, to get my, the info off of this Switch, like, you know, my games and stuff, and to put them onto this Switch might be a problem. Like I might have to call Nintendo, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit one more time about the dock. So over the last year or whatever, since my uh, since the switch broke, I've been using Erin's switch, and here's 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 her switch here. And you know, thank you to her for letting me uh, use that. But so let's talk one more time about this dock since I it's unhooked. I talk about this on stream a lot, but I don't get a chance to actually like show it. So here's my problem with the Nintendo Switch dock. So this plastic flap is, you know, it's cheap as shit, but that's just one thing, whatever. It's not really so much that, it's how they put the um, the plugs in here, how they're on the side. That means you have to like plug HDMI cables in from the side, which it shouldn't be like that. Most consoles, they're done on the back so you can see what you're doing. And I know you already know this, but for example, like here's the Xbox One, you can see all the ports you know, clear as day, because they're just right there. You can also see which direction the HDMI ports are going, because, you know, if you plug it in this way versus this way, you know, it's not gonna go in. Now, the problem is on the Nintendo Switch, if the thing is on your you, on your table like this, it's like, you can't even see what's going on here. You turn it like this and it's all dark. You have to like get like a flashlight to see. And then even if you find out which which way to flip it, it's like then sticking it in here is like, it's just, it's like awkward. Then once you do have the HDMI, actually, I had to even cut the camera for a second because it's so awkward to get it in. Uh, but uh, once you do have the HDMI in, then it's got this stupid shit where it's like, oh, I can't close it. Let me, let me push this thing down and fit these things through the backside of this thing that's gonna like flip down anyway. This cheap plastic fucking cover and have the cords like going through like that, that sucks. Then there's another thing um, where if you plug your controller in, if you happen to yank on your controller, uh, you know, I'm a person who, you know, you've seen me play games and stuff. You, you yank your controller the wrong way, this thing's just gonna fall the fuck over. And you know, like right now I have it on the floor, but sometimes it's like on your table. Then you have the whole, f the switch just like fucking fall, like fall over. Then, another thing about this switch is, see this little light here? That's like this teeny little like light on the front of it. Well, what if your switch is like that? Or like, or like this or whatever? You can't fucking see the fucking light. You know where you need to have the light? Put the fucking light up here. It's really the placement of where they have these things. Put the power light up here. Put like the, on the back where you can actually see the fucking ports. Not this weird shit where it's like inside. It's like, is this some Apple shit where they're trying to hide everything? You know, like online, how the like websites hide like search bars and shit like that to make it like really inconvenient. But web designers think that it's like, you know, that it's cool or whatever, but it just makes it fucking annoying and inconvenient. It's like the same kind of shit. Oh, make, let's make sure we hide all our wi wires, even though it's like super fucking inconvenient. The wires are, guess what, Nintendo? The wires are coming out the fucking side anyway. We see the fucking wires. So it's like... Just put it on the fucking back so we can plug the goddamn thing in. It's really annoying. So this as, this is not me hating on the Nintendo Switch. This is a, this is me that I hate the fucking dock. The dock fucking sucks. If they just made a better dock, it would be um, so much better. Because the Switch itself, like the actual Switch, it is is not too bad. Um, I mean, I think the Switch Lite is better because the uh, like the D-pad on it is like not as not as bad as the that but whatever um basically they need to fucking have a better dock is the point of this um moving on though there is a there are se several solutions but i'm not alone in, in this because there are a lot of people that have made 
custom Nintendo Switch docks. And if people are going to the trouble to make custom docks because, the, because they think, you know, this thing is a piece of shit, which it is, then I'm not alone. Like, so this is something else that I got. So I've heard that if you get a custom Nintendo Switch dock, you need to watch out because they can p potentially brick your system if you're not careful. So um, I'm not gonna do this with Aaron's Switch. I'm gonna do this with my Switch that I just got, brand new one. So I'm taking the risk because I fucking cannot stand the dock. I can't stand plugging things in with it. So I got this device, um, which was recommended. Now this isn't a Switch dock. This is something that you plug into the Switch that you can plug things into this. So I'm gonna try this out um and plug it in and see if i have an easier time plugging things in um maybe this will be the solution to my problems and the fact that you know people are recommending this or that something like this exists um and uh custom switch docks exist you know it this is a problem for the nintendo switch and i never hear anybody you know talking about this you know uh the nintendo switch itself is fine it's got lots of good games like i absolutely love mario maker the the Link's awakening game i think is really cool i love the style of that and stuff like that um so the games aren't really the problem the system isn't the problem um i don't really like the controllers i, li I like to mention that so here's a nintendo switch joy con um this is aaron's again uh i don't like the joy cons at all like this to me is not a controller this is like a fucking vanilla wafer or something like look look at this and I don't like the idea of having these half split apart controllers like in, in each hand so you can fucking like jerk off a cow in like Nintendo Switch, uh, what's that game called? One, two switch or whatever. Like I just, this is not, I, I can't stand that. So then you're like, well, use the pro controller. The pro controller, I don't like either. I think it's cheap. I have heard a lot of people complain because they like to play Tetris 99 that the pro controller fucking sucks for that. Like you can't play that game with that. Like you, for Tetris 99, you, you know, you're getting really into that game. You need to have like a good controller. What you probably want to do is get a Switch Lite and play that game. I've tried all kinds of Nintendo Switch controllers. Um, there's a, like a, a Pokin Tournament controller. I tried that. I think that's a piece of shit too. So what I end up doing is I have the, uh, I have this, the Nintendo Switch adapter. I've talked about this a bunch, but uh, hopefully this is the last time I'm gonna talk about this. But you plug that into, you know, into the Nintendo Switch. It's for Smash Brothers. People like to use that for Smash Brothers. And then what I have is I have a real Super Nintendo controller. This is an official, you know, from the 90s Super Nintendo controller, because, you know, their controllers were actually fucking good then. And that plugs into an adapter. This is a, a Super Nintendo to GameCube adapter that you then plug into into the Smash Brothers thing, so that I can use a Super Nintendo controller on the Switch. And people were asking me, does that all have all the functions you need to play the game? Like, does this controller do all the things that the Switch controller does? And I've been able to play um, Mario Maker without any problems using this controller, and I love doing it that way. It's like ten thousand times better. So more about the controllers. A lot of people recommended this to me. This is that Pokin uh, Nintendo, you know, Pokemon whatever controller. Um, a lot of people said that this controller was like awesome. Definitely try it. And first of all, look, look at these fucking things. Um, this controller feels very cheap to me, actually. Um, I tried it. I didn't really like it, you know. Uh, if you like this controller, that's great. I, I just really, it, this one's not for me, unfortunately, but I did try it, you know, pe people recommended it, so so that one wasn't really an option for me. Then, a lot of people, you know, will, will bring up the 8-bit dough controllers whenever I talk about this. Now, the 8-bit dough controllers are actually pretty damn good, not gonna lie, but there's some things that I don't like about them. Um, for one thing, the, con the control sticks, maybe this is just a me thing again, but I don't like having the control sticks on a Super Nintendo controller just because, I don't know, I'm not, I'm just not used to it. And I don't particularly love these control sticks on here. The D-pad's fantastic. The buttons are fantastic. But the main thing that I don't like about this controller and these 8-bit dough controllers is this button that they put here. I think it brings up the home screen when you're playing games. And if you're, like, playing the games and you're, like, hitting the buttons like this, you can easily, like once in a while tap this button down here like you're going like this and then bam like you'll hit that button there is no reason for this button to not be like up here somewhere you're never gonna 
you know, bring your finger and accidentally like hit the button here. So I have been, I've used this, this controller to play Switch and to play Mario Maker for hours and hours. And I'll be playing and it's like once every like 40 minutes or something, my, my finger will accidentally hit that and it brings up the menu and it's just, it's annoying. So while this is, it's mostly a good controller, Apido makes good products. Just take this fucking thing, stick it up here, and take and take these off, and then I'd be pretty happy. The other option is that Nintendo itself released Super Nintendo controllers, um, but the thing about that is they are, for one thing, um, for a little while they were hard to find, but I think you can get them more now. Um, but the problem is that they're wireless. I like wired controllers, and you know, that's a whole debate. You know, that's another video talking about wired controllers versus wireless, but. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, understand that. There, there's a lot of people that don't mind wireless, and there's a lot of people that like to have wired controllers. I'm a wired controller type of guy. So unfortunately, that um, Super Nintendo controller that they have, it's a wireless controller, so also, for me, not an option. Anyway, so I just wanted to give that update because I finally did break down and get the new, uh, get myself a new Nintendo Switch because, like I said, I don't, I don't have a problem with the Switch. People think I hate the Switch. I don't hate the Switch. It's just that I don't I don't like the Joy Cons. I hate the dock, but the system itself is fine. And now that the game, the system's been out a few years, it's got lots of games that are really cool on it. Um, so yeah, like I, I love Nintendo and I want to see Nintendo succeed. And by the way, this is succeeding. It's doing very well. It's I, I think it's close to outselling the original NES at this point. It might end up being Nintendo's most successful system. So I think that's great. I just wish that they would release like a I don't know a, a new a, a, a better version of the switch with a better dock and better controllers and stuff like that like kind of like an adult version of the switch because I, I actually think the joy cons are a little small too like these are like these buttons are like so close together I know they're like for like a little kid but like how about one that's like a little bit bigger um but that doesn't even matter to me anyway honestly because i I don't do a lot of like handheld gaming, so honestly, like it wouldn't matter to me either way. I I just want a really good like controller because I I, I want to play Nintendo Switch on my TV, so I would want Nintendo to release just a really good controller to use. 